314 people lost their jobs today at Newport News Shipbuilding, Virginia's largest industrial employer. The company says it's part of necessary cost controls. 119 managers were demoted. This is a tough blow to hundreds of families in Hampton Roads. Eugene Daniel breaks down why leaders say it needed to happen. It's bad that anybody get laid off. Newport News Shipbuilding, Virginia's largest industrial employer, laid off more than 300 shipbuilders Friday. The company also demoted over 100 managers, all salaried employees. A representative for the shipyard's parent company, Huntington Ingalls Industries, wouldn't comment. But NNS president Jennifer Boykin posted this letter originally sent to employees on Facebook. She said it's the first workforce reduction in five years and came after a thorough assessment of the business. She said it more evenly distributes resources and she called them necessary cost controls. They assumed they had nothing to do with who was in the White House or what party was in the White House. Charles Spivey, president of the USW 8888, said the layoffs didn't affect any of the union's roughly 12,000 hourly employees and said the union saved some jobs by moving some salaried workers into bargaining unit positions. Maybe this was inevitable, and I did, I did hear her say that, that um, this has nothing to do with the pandemic. It was just uh, kind of heavy at that, those areas. USW will reopen negotiations with the company in November. Despite these cuts, Spivey does not think this will be a trend. He remains optimistic for his workers. The president of NNS said the company will continue to hire specific critical positions. However, her letter did not say how many. In Newport News, Eugene Daniel, 13 News Now.